Welcome back, geeks and nerds. I'm Joshua Petaway, and this is The Divine Comedy. On Instagram and everywhere else, too, they just released this Funko map here. They just released the Bakugan one, so anyone who's familiar with Bakugan, this will be a blast from the past for you. I think they just released some One Piece. I have uh, Light and Sound Dark Vader. I have 40th. Uh, Anniversary Empire Strikes Back Princess Leia. I have a common card Dune, but it's definitely up there. And as you can see, um, I have my vaulted vinyl. This isn't sponsored, but I have my vaulted vinyl uh, tin. Right These now, it's nine days. We're currently on day two. It will end, I believe, the 27th of the 27th. Yeah. Whew, that was a mouthful. And not even live action film, more I like it. So that was pretty interesting to see the character come to life on the screen. I have to say, I'm extremely psyched for that character, truthfully, playing Ahsoka Tano in a spin-off series from The Mandalorian, as well as a bunch of other spin-off series they mentioned. So, this will be great to see later in the future. This is where the fun begins, no? Spring the trap. HBO Max, and some people are finding this a bit eh, troublesome, especially since theater. The originals, to the prequels, to the new sequel trilogy currently, and even the extended universe. With the release of Star Wars The High Republic and The High Republic comics mentioning Yoda when he was younger, no reason why they shouldn't use stories that were as popular as this and turn them into full movies or live action TV.